So you and me, we know each other pretty well. I'm betting that most of the people watching this video are going to be friends and some family of mine, which is fine. So I'm going to say this. This doesn't exist. Okay. Please don't tell anyone. Don't tell my parents. This is a secret between you and I. You get it. You get it. All right. All right. Now that we've gotten that cleared up, let's start. So if you're new here, hi, hello, and welcome to what is my life. It's a little bit of a mess, so watch your step coming on in. But yeah, and if you're returning, thank you for returning. Wow, uh, little shameless plug. I have an Instagram account now, finally, for this channel. I know in the last video I said it was under construction. Well, now it's fully constructed. So uh, if you don't mind, hang on over there, give me a follow. That'd be really cool. Um, I'm gonna post behind the scenes footage, stuff like that, most likely gonna be from uh, this video and so on. So yeah, go ahead, give that a follow. If you could also subscribe to this channel and like and comment, that'd be super cool, but yeah. My economics professor told us that we were going to have our first exam. Um, the only slight problem with that is I hadn't paid attention to any of the lectures. Now I know what you're saying, well, that's your fault. I, well, who's to say? If you're going to procrastinate and slack off during a Zoom class, which is understandable, so don't blame yourself, don't feel bad because I do it all the time and I still made the Dean's List, so hey, this is what you do. You carve out a weekend, maybe a day or two, whatever. You carve out specifically a few hours for a weekend to make sure that you at least kind of know what you're looking. The results may vary. This has worked maybe like a few times out of the times I've done it, but this is what I did for this time. So here were my four main object, object, objections, objectives. I had to cram four chapters worth of economics into my head. That was step number one. Number two, I made a tutoring session ahead of time to ensure that I could go over like sample test questions with the tutor if I had any questions. Number three, I had to go ahead and rewatch all of the class lectures that were recorded. And number four, I needed to do a Quizlet study session. When in doubt, Quizlet it out. You can never have too much coffee when you're cramming for an exam. The only problem with doing something like this is um, you start to slowly go insane at some point. I had been studying for about three hours, hopped up on coffee, made sure I had a good breakfast so I wouldn't be hungry, but I was starting to lose my mind and get really, really tired. So I took a break. I took a break. I made tuna fish salad. Say what you will about tuna fish, whatever. It was amazing. I made it really, really spicy. Season your food, kids. It was awesome. Here's a little backstory, right? I took microeconomics last semester before I took macro. If you don't know anything about economics, <laughs> neither do I. Macro is like the broad type of economics. It's like, I don't know, you're just basically learning about like definitions and stuff like that. It's an introduction. Micro is when you do like a deeper dive, things that like, I don't know, if this happens in this economy or this number occurs or this scenario occurs, then what's gonna happen? What do you think's the best option? Blah, 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 blah. It's really hard, the microeconomics. Uh, shout out to Kaylee and Kim. I could have never have passed if they weren't in that same class with me. I was just like, if, if I had just paid attention, I probably didn't. <gasps> That was my brother. Um, so yeah, tutoring session, I don't have any footage from that, but it went really well. The guy was super nice, super smart, so that was cool. I basically knew everything we were going over. I just should have looked at it. So we ended the session like 20 minutes early. Remember how I said I didn't pay attention to any of the lectures? And I was just like, oh, well, it's recorded, so I'll just go back and rewatch the lectures. My professor is not very tech savvy, so all of the lectures, I couldn't access them. They were there on Blackboard, but I could not play them. I don't know why. I, j I don't know why they weren't there. <laughs> he recorded them. They were like up there, but I couldn't play them. I should also mention that I didn't get through chapters one through four on Monday. I just got through like a pinch of chapter four. So I had to wake up very early on Tuesday because I had a class right before my economics class. So fun, but I did it. I did it. And then I had to take the exam. Somehow I got a 90. I don't know if that was luck. 
I don't know if it's because I already took economics the last semester. I don't know. I don't know. But I got a 90, so I don't care. But you know, I'm really surprised that I got a 90, given I just opened the textbook, like, that weekend. I mean, like, it was still doing the whole, like, thing. Or, you know, when you get a new textbook and you have to, like, kind of open it and it makes that sound. Yeah, like, I, it was that. I, <laughs> uh, yeah, and there you have it. Um, results may vary if you follow this plan. I can't guarantee you'll get an A like me. I haven't gotten an A all the time. But if you're gonna procrastinate and not pay attention, at least plan it out. Cause then you could at least kind of kind of pass or better. I just also wanted to mention that doing all of this, doing the utmost for this one class, I neglected two other classes and handed in assignments late. Don't be like me. Just open your textbook, open it. Or if you can't open it, find it somewhere. Or if you don't have a textbook, just do your assignments. All right, I'm done with this. I'm done. Please win. I'm done.